The next point is love. Live your day in love. If you don't have someone to love, love God. You have God and people. Love is limitless. Love can be expressed by a word to someone, by tolerating someone, by smiling at someone, by giving someone alms, by comforting someone, by giving someone some space. That too can be a form of love. You can love all of them by praying for them. The first kind of love is loving God because He is with you all day long. You love God by talking with Him anytime and anywhere, in your car, on your bed, anywhere. Talk with Him with any words and in any form. That's love. As long as you are in a state of love, peace will be in your heart. As soon as your mind wanders off, daydreaming about things in the world, you will break your connection to love and to peace. Love God in reading the Bible, in prayer, in contemplating all His words, taking them as a personal message to yourself. Love people by being patient. Patience is love. Serving people is love. Forgiving burdensome people is love. You will be the winner. You have experienced that when you are upset with someone you lose your peace. The person may be unaware that he did something wrong, but you are the one who can't sleep because you can't forgive. You are angry and upset. If you forgive, you become calmer. Love yourself. It's not wrong to love yourself. It is said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Sit with yourself a bit so you can find yourself and be compassionate toward yourself. Love your soul moderately and in balance. Wisdom says that if you are tired, sleep. If you are hungry, eat. If you need to forgive yourself, forgive it because it is weak. You are not a god, you are a human. Love your soul after God and people. You need to accept yourself. God accepts you and rejoices in you. This is the recipe for peace. All these are some reasons why you don't have peace. Remember to postpone, then remember to not postpone, remember to believe, remember to hope, remember to love. Do these so you can live in peace. Just know what to postpone and what not to postpone. If you think that simply, you will have incredible peace. And glory and honor be to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.